I'm going to call these sessions candle talks because I'm dedicated to do this meditation which I described yesterday that I will tell you all about today. I will tell you all about it today as well. Did you hear that? Okay. So the topic of these talks as of right now is codependency because believe it or not, I found myself being codependent in relationships and sometimes it doesn't even look like you are codependent it's just that you are <laughs> and that was my case for sure and it looks sometimes a little innocent it's like you're trying you're willing to love you're willing to be a friend you're willing to do the work and yet there is that other person that is not willing to receive and that happens, right? And what you should do is to move on. But the problem is when you refuse to move on and you hang in there. I'm just hanging in there, you know? Waiting around, wondering, questioning myself, daydreaming, thinking, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Nothing. You did nothing wrong. You just need to move on but it's so difficult and i know how it feels because i've been there i've done that and it's not efficient and i think the worst moment for me was to realize it was happening again and again and i was just like why is this happening again and finally i found a video on youtube and I found my answer and it was like, if you are needy in relationships, if you feel like you are needy and your needs are not met, then you could be codependent. And one way to heal from it is to use this meditation when you look at the candle and you know how we... When we meditate, we most of the time are trying to connect with the source and to be one with the source, which is cool. But in this case, you are trying to be like, this is the candle, this is me. This is the candle and this is me. This is me and this helps to heal the main chakras, the lower ones, the first, the second and the third one. Um, because... If you were little and you were abandoned in a way or not your your needs either emotional or physical were not met then your basic chakras are not aligned and so you need to work on those and secure them and what happens many millennials have this issue of you know being very evolved when it comes to spirituality knowledge wisdom skills but the basic chakras, they are not feeling secure because, you know, our parents were busy and we were sometimes left alone and not, and not taken care of. So it's okay. It's not about blaming anyone. It's about addressing an issue and healing an issue. So I, I just want to share my experience with this meditation because I've been doing it for two days now. 15 minutes before going to sleep. The first day, I, I had a regular day at work and then I went home by bus and there was this lady and this lady kind of turned around, looked at me and she looked... Oh my gosh. The look was terrible. It was like evil look, okay? And I was just like... That was a terrible look right there. Like, what did I do? May Once again, I started to like, what did I do? Why did she? Why did she look at me that way? Once again, being codependent on the reaction of that lady. In that moment, my mind was like, blink. It was like, that's the candle. This is me. In that moment, I realized that's the lady dealing with 
whatever. This is me. It was perfect. I felt like I had a shield. I felt like my energy was protected. I felt like I'm not getting involved in this bullshit. Not me. Not me. <laughs> you, you get me? After the very first day, I was just like, wow, I am loving this. That's why I want to talk about this because I think it's very, very important. Because we do get ourselves involved in so many different things and we are just like, why am I even dealing with this? It, it's not even my issue. Why am I bothered? That's why you are bothered, bothered because you get yourself involved so easily. You are not aware of your center. You, you, you are not able to say, that's you, this is me. So I was amazed by the results, by, by the, the thought that came up in my mind, like a protection, like, remember? That's the candle, this is you. It was brilliant. So there was moment number one. Moment number two happens today. Yesterday, one, so the, I did the same thing yesterday before going to sleep. I didn't even do 15 minutes, but 10 minutes because I, I was just very, very tired. And it was late. So I did it. I fell asleep. I had a beautiful, gorgeous dream. And a little, little, tiny, dirty, tiny, dirty. Good dirty, okay? Good dirty. <laughs> anyway, woke up, went to work and felt, you know, right now at work, I'm doing some mundane tasks, um, tasks that are kind of dull and boring. But I woke up and I was like, I'm excited to do it. I mean, it's my responsibility. It's my duty. I'm willing to do it and I'm happy to, I'm happy to do it. I was just like, that's nice to feel. I was just like, that's so nice to feel. Okay, okay, I see you, reaction <laughs> or whatever is happening. So that was gorgeous. Um, or whatever you say when you say that it was brilliant. And so that was one moment. But then the next moment, I had a chat with my client and... There was a feedback I received, which was like, hmm. It was like, oh, I see what you did. Mm -hmm. That was good, but I will just redo it myself. And I will just put my energy into it, if you know what I mean. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I was a little hurt. I was just like, mm hmm All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, that's fine. It's, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> um, but I didn't do that, obviously, because I am a whole guru now. So I was just like, you are a goddamn candle and I am me. <laughs> I'm so funny. Am I not just like the funniest person in the world? Okay. Um, so... This happened and I was just like, I'm, I'm bothered a little, I'm bothered a little, like what's wrong with what I did? Like I put my heart into it and you just like dismiss it, like what's wrong with you? And then I realized once again that the idea, the, the idea just popped up in my mind, like that's the candle, this is me, like whatever his issue is, her issue, it could be him, whatever. Whatever the issue of this person is, I don't give a damn because this is a candle and this is me. So, this candle talk is about that give it a try. And this doesn't necessarily have to be you dealing with codependency, it could be you dealing with, you know, whatever. You have to let go of. We could all let go a little more, you know. A relationship maybe ends and we are holding on. We cannot let go. We say, oh, you put my hopes up. And now what? You know, stuff like that. 
we kind of give so much energy to other people without realizing how much energy we do have ourselves. And it's all it's not about being selfish. It's about being who you are and being in your core, being in your center. Because what I've realized is this. If I if I am like If I'm like, so, what, 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 you know, if I'm like, what, 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 why are you not paying attention to me? I'm like being drawn. I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm like drawn to the reaction of that other person. That means I, I'm not in my place. I'm not in my center. And so if the universe is trying to even like send me some guidance, uh, I'm not even there to receive it. You know, it's just like, phew, it passes me by. So th that's kind of a metaphor I, 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 I would love to use here. So I love this. Candle talks. Let's do this. Candle talk. I love it. Let's be consistent with this. Veronica, be in your center. I actually can't wait to do this today. I, I love the practice. I loved being consistent. It's is the best feeling in the world. Once again, love yourself enough to be consistent. A quote by Danielle Laporte. She actually wrote a book, which I don't have here. I do have here. She wrote many books, but this one, the fire starter sessions are, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, really. And actually Danielle came up with this whole thing of um, like whatever you want to achieve in life it's you always have to think in terms of how do you want to feel what are your go-to feelings is it is it you feeling adventurous free dangerous Whatever it is, like in my case, I want to feel electric, golden and serene. Once I chose these feelings, I, I stick with them no matter what, because these are my go-to feelings. Why do I want to feel electric? Because I love big cities and I want to feel electric in a way of like having energy, walking into a room and being like, wake up, <gasps> wake up to your potential, people. I want to be electric. I want to have that kind of energy. And Tesla. <laughs> electric. Golden. Golden means... Well, golden means golden. I love beautiful things. I love beautiful clothes, beautiful perfume, cosmetics. Stuff like that. Like being treated like a princess kind of thing. Golden. Serene is being funny, being honest and being serene with you, being serene with me, being serene, you know, say it as it is, say it out loud, say it how it is and get on with it. That's how I want to feel. That's what's guiding me. Why do you need to be sure on your go-to feelings? Because every single time you make a decision in life, you have to ask yourself, does this decision make me closer, make me feel these feelings, brings me closer to these go-to feelings or not? And that basically helps you to decide, you know? So I, I love this. I will actually link you below um, a, a little... I think Danielle, she actually created a little Pinterest wall with all these feelings, with little background. So if there is adventures, there is a little picture connected with adventures. So you can actually see for yourself. And I think I chose these feelings like phew, five years ago. And I, I, I write them down every single day and I'm like, I am electric, golden and serene and I want to feel this way and I will do anything in my power to... To, to go closer to experiencing those moments, those feelings. And once again, meditation really does help to connect with these feelings and to actually be them before you feel them. So I hope you like this. I'm enjoying this. I think, you know, 
light up a candle with me and let's talk. Um, there is one suggestion. Um, always light up a candle with, uh, with matches. Never matches. Matches. Never with the lighter. The, um, there is a different... I don't want to say frequency and energy, but I do have to say it. It's different. If you light up a candle with matches versus a lighter, okay? So just, just do it. There's something about like matching, like using matches. It's so old school. I love it. Okay, that's for today. Candle talk. I, I love this. I hope you love it as well. I'll talk to you tomorrow.